So we're here at D Dateriku. D Date how, how do you pronounce that? It's it's um. Yeah, I know. It's a complicated name. Uh, Data Aiku. Data Aiku. So, would you like to introduce yourself and what it is that Data Aiku does? Yes, of course. So, I'm Jennifer Rubo. I'm the UK and Ireland country manager. And uh, I work for Dereku, which is a data science software editor. Yeah. Um, so, what about Dereku? It's actually um, um, a startup that was founded in 2013. Uh, we actually now more than 85 people globally, New York based, um, and we've just been named uh, visionaries in the Magic Garner Magic Quadrant um, uh, uh, as a data science platform for data science platforms. Data cleaning is something that, uh, as we've been walking around, especially at the data center part, yes. that's very hard to get right yeah. because it's hard to distinguish, especially so we were talking specifically in, in context with big data. Um, but this applies with any data set where you figuring out where trend ends and outliers start. That's a very difficult thing to do right if you have a large set of data. Yes. So how do you handle that? Because things like if you have human entry at any point, for example, you'll find that people will type almost anything into a text box. Yep. Well, I mean, um, this is not uh, actually um, the most complex um, side of what we do, yeah. um, but that's also why we've got amazing data scientists and, and, and why uh, we build our platform is to get data science um, accessible to, uh, to people who are not that data savvy. And so we help them with the right models to uh, identify automatically um, what are the outliers and, and we, we guide them yeah. in, in, in order to find the, the right, um, the right uh, outcome, I, I would say. Um, it's, it's, for example, I mean, we're working with large companies, you mentioned L'Oreal before, but uh, we're going to work also with um, Avis, for example, and other very large companies worldwide, but also very small companies who are very data-driven. And uh, we realized there that we were able to empower Excel users to start working on uh, our platform yeah. collaboratively with data scientists um, who also have different type of uh, different types of skills to bring to the table and to make data science projects more valuable within com within the the companies. And what what have you found to be the sort of the primary use for this? Is it is it sort of marketing or is it? Planning the next product. What's what 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 do, they, a, what do they use your services sort of in as such? So that's a very good question. Um, we are completely agnostic in terms of industries, but also in terms of use cases. Right. So basically, uh, what happens is that uh, we're gonna go with whatever is the main priority for um, the clients we're talking to. Um, in general, in, in our experience, um, the uh, main use cases are around uh, consumer analytics. Yep. Um, so trend prediction, uh, lifetime value optimization, uh, customer segmentation. That, that's, I would say, 50 to 60% of the use cases we tend to yeah. see with our clients. But sometimes we get to see more advanced um, Actually, uh, use cases like predictive maintenance, uh, fraud detection, um, or even like uh, finding and discovering new business models or right. data-driven products. And, and and what's the one thing that sort of because when you use uh, data-driven processes to figure out marketing, that's expected as such, right? Google have been doing it for years. Things it, it's something that a lot of companies do. What are there any sort of standout stories that you've worked with a company to do something that you didn't, you don't consider a data-driven exercise? Yeah, I mean, you'd be surprised actually. Yes, uh, the Gafa have been like doing a lot uh, with data, but I think that we are still at a time where most people, most players in the market 
um, are still struggling uh, transforming their the companies um, into data-driven companies. Sometimes it's just a, it's just about being able to connect data from um, legacy servers yeah. to um, data that they have in new big data technologies. So sometimes it's, it's at this very uh, stage that they struggle and that don't make sense of data. I'm not even talking about advanced analytics use cases, only about connecting to the right sources yeah. and getting the data out there for their data teams to work on them. So. Um, it's a very simple step, but it's already something very difficult. And so some of our clients initially only used us for that. They got yeah. um, an interest of data coup because we were able to combine um, different data sources uh, together. Um, but then they realized that we are a lot more. That they could with us, they could go beyond, and they could get like hundreds of data analysts and and dozens of data scientists to work together on data science projects and to and to put them into production in a few months instead of a few years. Yeah. So if people want to find out more about you guys, where do they go? Is the website, Facebook, Twitter, all of that stuff? Oh yeah, of course. So we're very active on Twitter. Um, that, that you should go there. We've got a Facebook page, but not really. LinkedIn yeah. also. But I would say on our website, we've got one of the like cleanest uh, learning portals uh, right. that um, one of our product managers actually uh, just uh, implemented. You learn a lot about us, but you learn also a lot about data science, what is possible to do on the market, a few success stories, and, uh, and we uh, are very keen on um, our key mission, which is democratizing data science to, to the world. In the yeah. end. And, and what is your website for anyone watching? Oh yeah, Dataiku, so <laughs> Dataiku, D-A-T-A-I-K-U dot com. Perfect. So make sure you go check them out. Thank you so much for your Thank time. Thank you very much. And have a great event. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you.